What's up, everybody? Um, I'm happy to finally have another thing that I can do a first impression on. So, here we go. This time I will be doing a first impression on the first three episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race Vegas Review. Um, I saw commercials of it during the All-Stars season, and I can say, I guess, it's controversial. Uh, not the show, but I can say that I'm sadly a RuPaul Drag Race fan. Um, I'm not a huge fan. I don't follow everything that like all the queens do. There's just too many things. Um, I did watch a little bit of Trixie Mattel and Katya's show. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen some videos of it when it was on YouTube, and then I watched it a little bit more regularly when it was on Vice Channel. And then when it was not on there anymore, and they were strictly on YouTube again, I didn't really follow that too much, but I've seen bits and pieces of other Queens' stuff on YouTube, but I don't keep up with it very often. Um, I've seen Drag U, um, I haven't gotten to watch any of the international versions of the show, even though I really want to, just for comparison to see if it's any different, you know, also to see, like, what drag is in other places. Um, that would be really cool, especially because I think one of them is in an Asian country, which would be really interesting to check out. Um, but I just haven't, like, dug around the interwebs to figure out where to watch such shows, but I've heard really good things about it. As for the show, when it comes on Logo and BH1 now, I have seen every single season, from season one all the way to, like, where we're at right now, uh, including, uh, All Stars, so I've seen all of those. I even suggested it as a trivia category at my like a trivia place at my job when we used to be able to do trivia together and we didn't have to like social distance <laughs> when we didn't have to social distance from each other. So when I saw commercials for this show I was obligated to check it out and yes I know that like kind of liking RuPaul's Drag Race is kind of you know uh, would you say a catch-22? I acknowledge that RuPaul has said and done some problematic things, and I know he's tried to, like, rectify some of those things as, as, as far as his view towards uh, the trans community and having contestants who are trans, which he did have Gia Gun. Um, but I also have heard behind-the-scenes stuff where it comes to people... Uh, not being happy with being manipulated behind the scenes and being betrayed as the villain. I've heard all the drama. I've, I've listened to it through certain channels on YouTube. I used to like really keep up with, uh, I think it's, uh, I, I forgot the name of this YouTuber. He goes in depth with a lot of the stuff that goes on with Drag Race, at least the American one. Um, I think he does touch on some of the international ones, but I haven't been like watching his channel for quite a long time, but I really enjoy his commentary, and I'll definitely put a card in the corner so you can check him out if you haven't already. So let's jump into what the show is about. Follow Naomi Smalls, Derek Barry, Vanessa Vanjie Mateo, and other queens from RuPaul's Drag Race as Mama Ru leads them through the next level in their careers with a Las Vegas residency. So all of these queens obviously I'm familiar with because they were all on the show. Um, I enjoy most of them, like as far as like if they're like one of my favorites or whatever. They're definitely not top tier favorite I hardcore love Dan, like, they're not in that category. Um, some of them are pretty close, like Evie Oddly, I love her. Amazing, talented uh, person. Um, they're all talented, 
in their own ways, but there, of course, everyone has their favorite queens and stuff. Yeah, there's just so many queens that I enjoy more than, like, this batch, but I totally understand, like, why these queens. I mean, they're, they don't have as much exposure. They haven't been out as long as far as, like, on TV compared to, like, other queens. So, I, I totally get it. Um, I didn't know what to expect with this show. Um, I was just mainly, like, the reason why I wanted to watch RuPaul's Drag Race Vegas Review, Las Vegas Review, or whatever you want to call it, um, yeah, Vegas Review, um, was one, it's, it's part of the, you know, RuPaul's Drag Race, like, TV show. I, I want to support. Um, I want them to, you know, have viewership, whatever, like, but at the same time, I don't know, I'm just kind of like, I, like, the other reason I wanted to watch it was because I'm, like, curious. I'm, like, well, how is this show going to go? Like, what, what is going to go on? Um, like, this isn't a competition. It's, like, a, like a straight kind of reality show. Like, there's a difference between, like, a reality competition show and just a reality show. Um, obviously, reality competition shows, it's mainly focus on the competition with drama here and there and there's somewhat of an overarching storyline and I know that one YouTuber even like mentions it in some of his videos about like well they gave this queen the best story so it was obvious that she was going to be the winner of the whole show and I get it to see this type of format with drag queens was interesting even though I have seen a very, I think, short-lived, uh, late discovery, um, I don't know what channel this came on, uh, but it's the, I think it's called the Queens of New York, uh, I'll make a correction, of course. Uh, this is how I learned about, you know, Jackie Cox and Britta Filter, um, a lot of the New York Queens that entered the last season of RuPaul's Drag Race, or the season before, the whole season. Um, that's how I learned a lot about those New York Queens, so that was interesting to, you know, make that connection. Um, it's the only, like, really drag queen reality show I've seen, and I, I enjoyed it. It had, like, a lot of different... It didn't seem like super fake. It felt like there was at least some sort of, like, message, uh, because, there, like, there was, like, an episode about, like, uh, I guess Jackie Cox, I think, it could have been another queen, like, really promoting, uh, people to register for vo to vote and all of this, and this was before, you know, what we're in right now. <laughs> so... Uh, things like that and just dealing with like real life situations but also making it fun and also having a little bit of drama here and there this show is uh what to say I feel like people who are fans of RuPaul's Drag Race are or fans of the queens and the show uh, might be disappointed. Um, granted, as I'm filming this, only three episodes have been aired. Uh, there's another episode coming out on Friday the 11th. And Friday, September 11th, by the way. And I still... I'm, I'm going to, like watch every episode. I just feel obligated to just watch it all because I feel like there's potential for it to be better, but deep in my mind I know it's this is just what it's gonna be. RuPaul's Drag Race Vegas Review follows these queens and they move do this whole Vegas residency, which is a thing that, you know, some celebrities do. Um, I know it's like a prize on America's Got Talent. Um, some singers have done it, like Celine Dion. Um, I think Lady Gaga did it. I think Jennifer Lopez as well. There have been singers who have a residency there in Vegas, and um, 
they have their own little like venue where they will be performing like like constantly uh, sometimes it's temporary sometimes it's a little bit more permanent uh, like Jibalockies they have a Vegas Red Sea they have their own spot in the MGM if I remember correctly because I was in Vegas uh, <laughs> You can check out my vlog for that if you want to see it, and there's also some drag queen uh, performances there. But, uh, so, they have a, va a residency there, and they're, I guess, doing like a, like a stage version of the competition show without the competition in the Flamingo. Great venue, been there. Um, you know, expectedly drama here and there among the queens because that's that's just what happens in reality type TV. You can't have like no drama in reality TV, unfortunately. I mean, people love drama. I'm not like dissing it. Like I I like watching drama. It's like it everyone likes watching that that train wreck, that car crash. It's just like this is ridiculous. I love seeing them fight. I like seeing them like cuss each other out. I, I, there's a lot of interesting things with reality TV. Otherwise, like this genre of television of entertainment wouldn't be like made so often because they constantly, you know, put out these types of shows, especially if it's some love competition. There's tons of those. <laughs> but this show is just so weighed down with drama. And it has... It's not pieced together very well. For example, one of the queens was complaining about what another queen said at a get-together. In my head, me watching the show, I'm just like, wait a minute, did I miss an episode? Like, I don't remember them having a party together. And then all of a sudden they do a flashback, flashback, to said party. And I'm just like, they never showed this. I don't remember them showing this. And it's just lots of, like, disjointed, like, editing of references of other stuff that they didn't show. And then they're like, okay, here's what they're talking about. And it's just like, why wouldn't you make this a cohesive narrative? I don't get it. And then this whole performance thing, they're, like, super stressed about, which I get. Like, I figured, like, that would be, like, the main focus is them, like, getting stuff together. But then once they, like, do, like, the very first show and then they move on and they're trying to, like, do another show, it's just kind of, like, what's the point? It would have been great to, like, expand this whole, like, them getting ready for, like, the grand opening of the show. That would have been a great narrative. But no, I'm, I'm not the writer. I'm not the creator. Whatever. But even that was kind of, like, lackluster. It's just like, oh, I'm super nervous, or this girl doesn't deserve to be part of the show. She's not that talented. I don't like her. We didn't get along on our season. Blah, 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 blah. And then, like, they throw in this whole, I'm afraid of Mama Ru. I don't want her, to, I don't want her to be disappointed. Ugh. I'm just like, okay, whatever. I, I just, I don't, like, I don't feel it. It's just not genuine. I, I don't know. But all of the, the drama between these girls, whether like one of them said that they are, uh, like they pointed out a weakness that they didn't just, that they didn't agree with. Another one doesn't really like this other one's uh, boyfriend or whatever. It's just, I don't, it's just a mess. <laughs> I wish the like, the editing's bad, the drama's weak, and, like, it's just, it's just a mess. Like, occasionally there are some interesting moments, which I wish, that, where I'm just like, you know what, this is a good, like, springboard for something. But they never really, like, connect it or do anything with it. Like, uh, Miss Vanji, uh, being set up, like, like, they're telling her, like, oh, you need to get back out there in that dating world, and they go out to a club, and it seems fine, and then she kind of meets somebody, spoiler, I'm just gonna ruin some parts, she goes on a date, and it's just, it doesn't, it just fizzes out, it's just sad, um, I feel like there could have been, like, more, and there's also, like, the times when there's, like, 
they're actually like trying to fight each other or whatever and that just seems so scripted so fake it just i can't i just i can't like i know i understand that reality tv is not reality that most of it is scripted a lot of it is fake but every now and then there actually are some genuine like moments of like i dislike this person we don't get along i don't care for this there's some reality based in some of the fiction and i just don't get that like i know the girls were set up a lot of the time in the competition show repulse drag race but some of it felt like like they really like didn't get along or they really liked each other or they really were in love or they really were great friends or whatever. But this show, it just is flimsy. I, I don't know. There's a, there's potential, but they'd have to like kind of sort of scrap what they have or, you know, restructure some stuff like hardcore I feel like I'm rambling I'm probably am rambling I mean pretty much I'm not crazy about the show it's probably out of all of the like I guess spin-offs of Drag Race at least on TV not counting uh, stuff on YouTube this is my least favorite. I'm I'm not too crazy about it. There like I said, there are moments like that I'm like, oh well this is kind of cool. I wish we could explore this more. Such as Miss Banji, you know, going on a date and wanting something wanting someone to love him for him and not his character. Or Going a little bit further with Evie Ollie struggling with uh, her health and wanting to, you know, be in a healthy space but continue to perform, but her health is, you know, preventing her to perform to the fullest. That, that kind of stuff. Or even, like, her relationship with Naomi Smalls in Asia. Like, those, like, things are interesting. Or even exploring a little bit more about Derek Barry and his relationship, his polyamorous relationship with two of his boyfriends, one of them happening to be a drag queen. Like, that would be an interesting thing to explore, but we're just left with, like, very weak drama that just comes out of nowhere, that doesn't make any sense, that doesn't, like, form a straight narrative like the narrative is just it's it's all over the place so in conclusion i would say if you are a rupaul's drag race fan is it worth seeing this show no will it hurt if you do watch it not really um there are a few little tiny i guess there's some enjoyable spots, but it, it's, I don't think it's anything that you'd miss if you decide to, like, skip out on it. I mean, I think this might be a better show to just, like, kind of binge. Uh, it's definitely not, like, worth watching it on TV and waiting the next week to watch another episode, because it's, like, it's very low on my priority of shows that I watch on cable TV, and yes, I still subscribe to cable TV. I, I just, I can't live without it, like, I can't go straight streaming, but that's, uh, neither here nor there. But, obviously, I don't really care for the show too much. Um, I still have the tiniest glimmer of hope that it'll get better. But I highly doubt that it will. I think this is just what it's going to be. And that's just really disappointing. So, um, tell me what you think of RuPaul's Drag Race Vegas Review. If you've seen it. Um, if you haven't seen it, tell me why you haven't seen it. I, I don't know. 
Uh, just tell me your thoughts. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of the videos that I make here on this channel, because I know about half of you or so are not subscribed to my channel, but you watch my videos, please hit that subscribe button below. Greatly appreciate it. Um, as I'm filming this, I've hit 100 subscribers, which I'm super happy about. I know it's not a lot like some people who hit 100,000 subscribers, but you know, I will take 100. I appreciate all of you because you, you all matter. Um, also, uh, if you want early access and other little exclusives that I do post and give out, you can support me on Patreon. You're not obligated to support me financially, but it does help. And I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.